Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Don't hold on to anger against someone. This is very important. This is very important because I'm going to tell you what. And this is a quote I saw a long time ago. You know, it's like holding on to anger about what someone's done to you and being angry at them, being mad at them and everything is like you drinking some poison and expecting them to die. You know, that's the thing. A lot of people have that. That person did something. You angry at that person. It ain't saying it's wrong not to be angry itself or having some anger, you know, especially when they did something. Shoot. But when you hold on to it, how's that really changing anything? I want you to think about that. How's that change? What's that doing to that person? In fact, you got some people, they 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 get off. They get hot. They get aroused when they can get you angry. They feel like they're doing something against you. Like I've told the story several times when I was at I was at the Harlem Book Fair selling some books, and you know, me and this guy got in an argument. He was talking about why I ain't in your book. I was like, well, sir, I don't know you. And he kept saying the same thing. And you know. Uh, our voices were raised. We were about to get into a physical fight. But then I never forget what he said. He said, um, you know, after we were about to get to that point, he said, yeah, okay, you won't be able to sell your book now. He felt good that he was able to move me that way. And I was mad for about 10 minutes, and then I went back to doing my thing. But I thought about that. I said, wait a minute. This dude is going to come up to a stranger and be that way. What, what good was that? He gets off on that. They get off on it. Now, say I held on to the anger for that. I wouldn't have been able to make the business connections I needed that day. So I let it go. But then how often have we got mad at someone and didn't let it go? Kept being mad. Kept thinking about them. Like they always on your mind or something. What's that doing against the person? That's hurting you. You getting upset about it. You holding that grudge or something. That, you know, that same person could, is probably moved on, ain't thinking about you, don't know it. If you went up to them and said, well, you did this and this, they probably just say, well, you know what, I'm sorry, but um, honestly don't remember you. <laughs> Seriously. How often has somebody held a grudge against somebody who might have bullied them in high school or something when they're young and they see that person as an adult and the person, they're not thinking about it anymore. Shoot, they might have had a religious conversion. You might have to address them as minister or something. And they sincerely sorry. If you remind them, they'll be sincerely sorry. But they'll say, nah, that's not me anymore. They ain't let it hold them back. But how many people have like held grudges and anger for years? That's hurting you. That's why they say forgiveness is not for the other person. The forgiveness is for yourself. So you let it go. You know? And let me be clear on something. It don't mean you got to be all happy, you know, happy with them and, uh, you know, want to grab them, hang out. Somebody do something to you, shoot, unless they make amends and they apologize, shoot, you still remember. They say, well, I ain't angry at you, but, uh, and I can forgive you, but I'm not going to forget. And it might be just, that's just a situation you let it go. They say, no, I ain't angry at that person, but I ain't going to hang out with them. Okay, that's fair. But you got to let that anger go. It's hurting you. Because think about how we feel when we're angry. We're getting stressed. You know, our blood pressure is rising. You know, we might not want to eat. We might eat too much, you know, just the blood pressure thing. We up there doing all that. The other person, they don't know about you. Shoot, that person could be dead and gone. They died. They done moved on. You still holding on to that anger. You got to let it go. Don't, I mean, don't, like I say, don't forget what they did. Keep an eye on them. You know, you might not want to be in the same place as them, but you got to let it go. You got to let it go it go because you're the one being hurt you're the one who's suffering you're the one ingesting that poison because i'm gonna tell you what it really is a thing it can make you sick a lot of sickness comes from just stress you stressing your body like i said high blood pressure that's an obvious one you're still holding on to all that stuff 
It's even it, 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 you give you aches and pains might affect how you interact with other people. How like let me let me go into that because that's very important. How often have we have we either done this ourselves or seen it ourselves? Somebody's real angry and they're gonna take it out on somebody that has nothing to do with. You know, I remember in high school there was a situation where. Um, uh, one a young man at my school was jumped by guys that went to uh, this particular school in the D.C. area that was known for, it was St. John's, and they were known for having military uniforms and stuff. You know, cadets, that was their name. Now, I never forget, some guys from that school jumped the young man. All right. That dude, was, he kept that anger in him. He saw somebody getting off a bus who just had the uniform on. He beat the crap out of him. For what? This dude didn't do anything. You help this dude hurting another man, another young boy, who probably would have been his friend, probably didn't like the guys who beat him up. But all he had was a uniform. You and you start hurting another person who's innocent. How often have you seen somebody get mad at somebody, like a man or a woman get mad at uh, one of their exes, but then they'll take out some stuff and have some issues with somebody who look like it? That actually happened to me. It was on a job I was on. It was at a gym, and one of the members acted real funny with me. She acted real, real funny with me and stuff. And she was like, you know, behaving a certain way and everything. And, you know, I was like, I couldn't figure it out. But then it came to me. Somebody told me who knew her, said, no, nah, you just look like this ex who dogged her. I'm like, well, I ain't have anything to do with it. I'm too damn. I'm a different person. Yeah, they blessed to look like me, but <laughs> you know. So I'm just like, wait a minute. This is crazy, and it's one of the things that we really got to think about. Like, you still want to deal with the situation. They did something. You still want to take care of the situation. You, you know, and like I said, you might have to just separate from them or keep them at a distance. Heck, you might even have to take legal action. But you can't hold on to the anger because ultimately that anger hurting you. And like I gave the example of when I was at the Harlem Book Fair, you're going to get some people who get off on that. It's a crying shame, but it happens. They, going, they actually get off on causing some trouble like that. You don't want that to be you. Okay? You do not want that to be you. So don't hold on to anger against someone it's hurting you more than it's hurting them all right so anyway that's all i got keep rising and transforming peace and blessings